Hi, and welcome to another Materialize Magics tutorial. Today, we will look at the marking tools in Magics. Marking tools are essential in Magics and are used in combination with other Magics functions, such as fixing, editing, and support generation. Before we get started, let's switch to the triangle view for a clearer understanding. The marking tools can be found at the bottom of the workspace. Next, make the marking toolbar available by clicking on any marking tool. This will display only the marking options at the top of your screen. To close this pop-up, hit the Escape key. We'll keep the marking tools displayed for this exercise. There are two main categories of marking tools. The marking entities, used to choose which entities to mark. And the selection tools, determine how to mark those entities. We will demonstrate the different operations using these tools in this video. We start with the triangle marking tool. As you know, triangles are the building blocks of an STL file. Use this tool to click and mark triangles one by one. You can unmark triangles by clicking again or by using the Unmark All button or the F8 hotkey to clear all markings. Next is the Mark Plane tool. This allows you to mark an entire plane at once instead of one triangle at a time. Unmark by clicking on the plane again. Following is the Surface Marking Tool. Surfaces in Magics are defined by wireframes and take curvature into account. Click to mark a surface and click again to unmark. Moving on to the Mark Shell Tool. A shell is an uninterrupted connection of triangles. Click on the part to mark the entire shell. Unmark by clicking again. Now let's combine these marking entities with selection tools for more precision. We'll use a different part for this demonstration. First, Rectangle Selection. Draw a rectangle to mark all the triangles, planes, surfaces, or shells inside it. Press the Alt key to lock the shape as a square. Simply click to mark the current triangle. Press Ctrl while drawing to mark through the part. To unmark a region, press Shift while drawing. For unmarking through, press Ctrl plus Shift. You can use the same method for other marking tools displayed on the screen. Second is the brush selection. All triangles touching the brush line will be marked. Unlike plane marking, this tool doesn't select the entire plane inside the circle. Adjust the brush size by pressing Ctrl while scrolling or change it directly in the toolbar. Another action you can perform is marking a freeform region. Click and draw with your mouse, and Magix will complete the line and apply the marking. Unlike the brush tool, freeform can select the entire area inside your drawing. Magix also has tools to copy or delete marked triangles, making it easier to fix and refine your part. This is a quick overview of basic marking operations in Magix, but be aware that there are many more ways to use marking tools to optimize your additive part. If you want to learn more, register for our free Magix onboarding training. The link is available in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy 3D printing with Magix. Thank <laughs> you.